All right, I'm gonna show you how to use Flippity, and I'm gonna do an example one, and I'm gonna select my favorite tool, which is the random name picker. So once you go to flippity.net, you can scroll through and find which tool you wanna make. And there's a ton of them, and they're all great. And once again, they're totally free. So I'm gonna make the random name picker. So here's what I wanna make. I can see the demo if I want, I wanna see how it works, but I'm basically going to just click on template to make my own. Google Drive's gonna ask me to make my own copy. I say make a copy. This creates a working template for me. Now I wanna put my own student names in there, so I have a list of my student names. So I will copy that, go back to the spreadsheet, and basically just put my student names in there instead. You can put photos or images if you want instead of the name. So if you were in a kindergarten class, you didn't want a name, but you wanted the student's picture, you can do that as well too. But I'm gonna make this really simple. Just put the student names. Now the one thing you have to do is this is where you put your information in, but at the bottom down here it says get the link. It's gonna generate a web link, but in order for that to work, you have to go to file, down to publish to the web, and just click publish. Basically this just makes it so the tool can find this, it's kind of shared in a way that it can read it. So I'm gonna say okay, no big deal, it's not making it where people can find it on the internet, it's just making it publish to the web. So I'll say okay. If I click this link right here, and then go down to the pop-up link that comes up, it'll open a new tab, and there are all of my students' names. And what's really cool is if I save this URL and just save it as a bookmark, it's always ready to go with those kiddos' names in there. I can also go back and re-edit the names if a student moves in or anything like that back onto this spreadsheet on the first page. But what's really cool about this is I can do spin to choose names. So it'll randomly pick a name as it spins, show the name up, but I have all kinds of other options. I can just do one single name at a time, randomly select them. I can do lineups, put them in order. If I'm a teacher and I wanna make groups, so maybe I wanna make groups of five of my students, boom, I hit a button, they're all there, so here's group one. I can just put this up on the projector and maybe like, oh, I wanna do a different group, I hit the remix, new group. So I could say, maybe my whole class, I only want to make three teams. Now it takes the number of students I have, randomly makes them into teams. And same thing, I can refocus them, reshuffle them. Super simple. Seating charts, lots more. That's why the name picker is my favorite. Not only does it make a really easy tool for picking names, it has all these other options. And the spreadsheet lives right inside your Google Drive. So here it is, and I can put it anywhere. I can edit it, it'll always work. So that's the easy one to use and probably the most useful that I like. There's lots of other tools at Flippity that you can go through. All you need to do, same thing, is click that template and kind of walk through. If you need extra help, click on the instructions and they'll give you text to kind of follow. So once again, another free tool, super easy to use.